we've discussed expected value, which is a measure of center for a random variable, and now we're going to discuss measures of spread. In particular, we're going to talk about variance. So um, in an applied stats class, you usually talk about standard deviation when you're talking about the spread, um, because the standard deviation is in the same units as your original data. But in probability, we're going to talk about variance because it just has nicer properties. All right, so this variance calculation, if we have x is just some random variable, then the variance of x, which we usually denote sigma squared, is equal to the expected value of this quantity, x minus its mean squared. All right, so you might be wondering, well, how do I actually calculate this? Well, luckily, we talked about functions of random variables in a previous video. So this is simply a function of a random variable. So our function, g of x, is equal to the square of x minus the expected value of x. So we can apply on the uh, function. So we can apply the calculations in the previous video to figure out how to calculate the variance of x. All right, one very useful theorem is that the variance of x can be rewritten as the expected value of x squared minus the square of its mean. All right, so that is instead of um, calculating x minus its mean and then squaring that quantity and then taking the expected value, we can take the difference in these two expected values. So this is just a matter of number crunching, so you can do that on your own if you wish. Um, we're going to talk about the next theorem now. So let x be a random variable, either discrete or continuous, with expected value of x squared being finite. <coughs> then for any real number a and for any real number b, the variance of ax plus b is going to be equal to a squared times the variance of x. All right, so let's build some intuition here for what this is saying. So we have our random variable x, and we multiply it by a. So we're scaling our random variable by a, and then we're going to shift it b units. So ax plus b is taking our random variable x, multiplying it by a to rescale it, and then we shift it by b units. So the variance of ax plus b is equal to a squared times the variance of x. So we notice that over on the right-hand side of this equation, we see nothing about b. And that's because when we move x right or left, it does not affect the variance of x. So that means that the variance of ax plus b is just um, going to have something about a in it and not b. All right, so the variance of ax plus b, what does this a part mean? Well, the way that we can interpret it is if we scale a random variable by a, then its variance is going to be scaled by a squared. All right, so let's do a proof of this. Um, the variance of ax plus b, let's just take the definition of variance, which we established over here. So the variance of ax plus b is equal to the expected value of the square of ax plus b minus its expected value, expected value of ax plus b. Okay, so we're going to keep this first part the same. We'll have ax plus b, and then now we're going to use the linearity of expectation on this second piece here. So we're going to rewrite this as a times the expected value of x plus b, and we have to carry that negative through, so we have negative a times the expected value of x minus b. Okay, so we have a plus b and a minus b. Those two will cancel out, leaving us a times the expected, leaving us the expected value of ax minus the expected value of x squared. And now we can factor out the a's, because we have a times x and we have a times the expected value of x, so we have um, a times x minus the expected value of x. All right, now we see that um, a is within these square brackets and we're squaring uh, the contents of the square brackets. So that means that we could 
write this as a squared times x minus the expected value of x, that quantity squared. And now we can pull this piece out of the expectation. So we have a squared times the expected value of x minus the expected value of x squared. And we can recognize this simply as the variance of x, so this is equal to a squared times the variance of x.